Welcome back to part four of our South Carolina season preview. I'm Josh Kendall. This is David Kleininger with the state and GoGamecocks.com. Everybody knows Pharaoh Cooper, one of the best, yeah, one of the best players in the Southeastern Conference, if not the nation. I think he's got the real potential to have an All-America season, given the fact that he's that talented and he is, at least for a while, their only proven offensive option. Sky Moore, the leading tackler for the last two years. People know who they are. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I don't think anybody knows much about this team or who their playmakers are going to be. When you go back to the salad days of South Carolina football not that far ago, mm -hmm. you had playmakers. Yeah. You had Marcus Lattimore, you had Jadavian Klein, you had Connor Shaw. So for your money, David, who are the playmakers beyond Pharaoh and Sky, who are probably pretty proven commodities, who are the playmakers going to be that we'll know at the end of the season? Well, I tell you, Josh, I think it's going to be a list that just keeps getting longer just because there are so many unknowns right. in this season. But at least right now, before the season, on defense, I look at a guy like Isaiah Johnson. You know, a guy transferred in from Kansas for his one remaining year of eligibility. Not only has he played at the highest level, he's done well at the highest level. One Big 12 Defensive Newcomer of the Year uh, as, a gen as a, I guess, a sophomore when he was out there and then did pretty well last year. So Isaiah Johnson, a guy who's come in, he's taken over that starting strong safety spot already in John Hoke's scheme. He'll be the last line of defense playing in the middle of that field, kind of getting and ready to go up and contribute a tackle or be the last guy to take down a ball player. I think he's going to have a big year. And then on offense, Steve Spurrier's made it clear that Lorenzo Nunez will have a role, and that's who I think is going to have a pretty big role, considering that they just don't have anybody proven. Lorenzo Nunez can go out there and really make something happen with the ball. The first practice we got to watch, he stepped in. I thought, you know, he just looks like a quarterback. He, he looks like he knows what he's doing right off. There's no tentativeness. There's no nervousness. Yes, he does need to work on passing the ball. He did not pass a lot in high school, and he's got to work on that. But as a guy who can make things happen, like Connor Shaw did so well for four years, I think Lorenzo Nunez will be given that opportunity, and he will succeed. We opened up talking about Sky Moore. For my money, I think that Jonathan Walton is the best linebacker on, this, great bowl game. on this team. And I think that Lorenz Bryant, on the other side, uh, outside, might by the end of the year be talked about as the first or second best linebacker on this team. He's a guy that is super athletic. He's very confident. He's very fast. I feel like in John Hoke's system that Walton and Bryant could have big years and Sky Moore might you know, be in a battle this time for leading tackler on this team. Offensively, and, I, and I'm told the offensive line is, is not a sexy for a breakout player, but I think Mason Zandy could have a big year. Definitely has a size for it. He's, he's a big kid. He's going to start at right tackle unless, you know, there's just a huge surprise or, or an injury. And they need to protect the edge well. South Carolina's offense protected the edge intermittently, I'll say, last year. And it was a problem. It was a problem in crucial situations. So Brandon Shell moves to left tackle. You, you sort of pencil him in as a, as a pretty solid guy there. You feel like he'll be okay. But you've got to protect the other side. And I think Mason Zandy may be ready to do that. And if he is, that'll be a huge boon for South Carolina's offensive line. They can keep Mike Matulis at guard, where I think Mike Matulis can really shine. A lot of question marks that I'm hearing about the Gamecocks offensive line, I think they'll be fine. I mean, they, they don't have A.J. Ken, an a NFL draft pick, your best lineman last year. But they've been pretty set for first five all preseason long. I think that they'll be okay. I don't think that they're going to hurt South Carolina's football team this year. Yeah, I think the depth on the line might be a bit of a concern yeah. if somebody ends up wow. getting hurt just because I think they have about 13 guys who are going to play and six of them have never played a snap. Yeah. But, you know, we'll see. Right now everybody's staying healthy, including Mike Matulis, and I think that will be an actual strength by the end of the year. We'll be back next to talk about the schedule 